वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन टीचिंग वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर सेवन आउटकम्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी दिस इज मोड्यूल फिफ्थ ओके नाउ इन फोर्थ वी डिस्कस अबाउट रूल बाय मेजोरिटी हेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द पॉइंट डिग्निटी एंड फ्रीडम ऑफ सिटीजन्स यू नो दैट Democracy is one of the superior government in means of dignity and freedom of the individuals or of the citizens. It means democracy provides provides the base for the dignity and freedom for the dignity and freedom. because we have discussed earlier that here the inequalities that are also exempted the discrimination and the better results that are on the part of the democracy okay now every person every person wants respect from fellow beings or from any another person but sometimes sometimes there are the conflicts there are the conflicts and these conflicts are removed by only democracy so it is an base it is an important point for the dignity and freedom of the indian citizens and it is provided by the democracy it is not a uh, slow process it is not a you may say at a uh, you may say it has taken a lot of time it has taken a lot of time lot of struggle then the dignity and freedom comes you are aware that in our constitution right to freedom is also a fundamental right that has been provided by our constitution where a lot of freedom part is included it means we can profess any religion we can adopt any religion we can move in any part of the country we can uh, even do any of the business right to speak is there so it right to protest is there so these are the fundamental uh, rights that has been provided by our constitution so it means this dignity this self respect is the part of the democracy now b part that we will be discussing about the women that uh, from the beginning from the beginning we are living in we are living in male dominant society male dominant and the women were considered as inferior from the beginning and from our history we are aware as the human being start the male dominant where the head of the family is father or any other person but there is male only and these women they have struggled a lot nowadays they are given some of the relaxation facilities exemptions are there even some of the freedom are there but they had struggled a lot they had protested you can take the example of rosa parks that was in africa where that lady that was the part and she started the protest and in the end she won the battle so it means the women that is also a part of the society that is a part of the humanity and they were discriminated they were discriminated from the beginning and even what was that they were not given respect they were not given any dignity you can take the example that even women from the beginning they are working in the household works you can compare grandmothers and even uh, the past generations what they had they had only work no education no facilities were there so it means democracy is one of the part in non democracy ya in non democratic government no such facilities are there because they will not bother about dignity and freedom 
because they have their own rules and regulation their own constitution they are not bothered so dignity and this uh, status of the woman that is an important one and this can be provided only by the this democratic government now see part that we will be discussing about the caste inequalities the third part is, uh, part is caste inequalities this is also a problem that we are facing in especially in india or in the countries where this type of the discrimination or you may say about the stereotype thinking is found you can see that these lower caste people lower caste people were considered were considered inferior you can take the example of dr b r ambedkar he himself has felt this humiliation and but he did that thing yeah he converted this humiliation into one of the best work that is formation of constitution that was formation of the constitution that was an important so he is known as the father of the constitution so he gave the way that the this society this caste inequalities that are declining nowadays nobody is concerned about such things and because in democracy there are some of the alternatives there are some of the rules and regulations where this discrimination is decreasing day by day so these caste inequalities that were earlier the status of women was not good there were you may say racial discrimination such things were there but now they are not the part of this this can only be removed by only this type that is the democratic form of government okay now the next thing is that is about the people have more expectations have more expectations to democracy it means what is there that for example one problem is solved one problem is solved the people started to look into another to look into another what do you mean by that it means one problem for example dignity the condition of women that caste inequalities they had been reduced they had been exempted and even they have been uprooted now the people search for new it means more expectations are there it is with everybody for example if work is complete now we we'll look for another that that person that democratic government will help so it means these types of the thing are there and the one problem solves and other comes then other comes it means the people have different views some will support some will criticize but that can't be exempted but that can't be removed because it is a better government that gives the ways to these uh, reducing these inequalities these discrimination that are found so we can say this is one of the best form of the government that is found in the world